Hello everyone, Jim here from Storm Warning News. It is Thursday, December 14, 2023, and faced with the reality that drones are reshaping the modern battlefields in Ukraine and Gaza, the Pentagon has been tasked with finding a budget-friendly solution to eliminate these flying IEDs, and that solution would be EMP. Now, according to the System for Award Management website, that's SAM.gov, the U.S. Air Force has published a contract opportunity for private industry titled Electromagnetic Pulse and Defense Against Unmanned Aircraft Systems. Now, the service outlined the drone-killing features of the new EMP weapon it is seeking, and this is a mouthful, but here we go. The Air Force Research Laboratory is conducting market research to seek information from industry on the landscape of research and development for available electromagnetic pulse solutions toward countering multiple unmanned aircraft systems, otherwise known as UAS, EMP solutions could be ground and or aerial based that provide effective mitigation against Department of Defense UAS Groups 1, 2, and smaller Group 3 aircraft. Now, as for an aerial EMP weapon, the service explained any EMP solutions hosted on air vehicles will have to be determined to be airworthy by the government. DOD must comply with the following general restrictions on UAS-1. The air vehicle must be based on or derived from U.S. components and electronics. And two, the air vehicle must have sufficient flight hours and reliable data. Simply stated, ladies and gentlemen, the Department of Defense is seeking EMP-type weapons to take out drones. What could possibly go wrong with this? You don't need to use your imagination. This is certainly a step forward, an interesting, potentially frightening step forward. But we are concerned about EMP weapons anyway. We are concerned that another nation or even this government could use them to cause a blackout over much or all of the United States and perhaps even further. We are concerned about hacks right now too. The banking system being brought down by hacks or other means. Certainly, we are moving fast, ladies and gentlemen. Technology is running ahead of man's knowledge, in my opinion. This could, could set a dangerous precedent. But will we be given over to the spirit of fear? Absolutely not. And the word of God is written in 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7 says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, and of love, and of a sound mind. Press into Jesus with everything you have. He is all we need. And please, ladies and gentlemen, if you would, check out the link below in the description section to my fiction book series, The Wayfarer Stories. It is end times fiction. It is described below. Right now, Home, A Wayfarer Story, is free on Kindle through tomorrow. And a new release, Urgent, A Wayfarer Story, is coming up very soon. This is Jim signing off. Until the next time, God bless you.